While Macy's has not confirmed it, there are reports that its downtown Minneapolis store will close next year. The Nicollet Mall building is very special to people who grew up shopping at Dayton. So many memories. Jim Voss is on the downtown council. He's also a commercial real estate expert with Cressa Minneapolis. Jim, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Good All morning. Right, what do you know? <laughs> what, what we know is that Dayton's uh, is the memory that I think a lot of people love, and Macy's hasn't made an announcement. So we need to kind of disconnect those two things. They have been shopping for uh, selling the real estate. Whether they stay or go is a different Macy's question. Macy's corporately perhaps, had a plan to close over 100 stores this year. They're looking at all of their flagships, saying this is really valuable real estate mm -hmm. and is really valuable retail. So they're trying to, you know, I would say disconnect that retail strategy from the physical real estate. These flagship stores are high value properties in downtowns of Pittsburgh, Portland, Spokane, Minneapolis, you name it. When we were talking about what could actually fill that space, kind of an older building, yeah. it could, could it be reconstructed into something like condos or like apartments for Nicolette Mall? You know, housing probably doesn't work well in that building because mm -hmm. the floor plates are very, very deep. So you get a lot of space that doesn't have much natural light. Conversely, think about like a Chelsea market in New York. Yeah. You could have a lot of small shops Things that are uniquely Minnesotan or uniquely mm -hmm. Minneapolis, I think there's a place for that. And we've already seen lots of retail downtown get repositioned. Think of Gavite Commons becoming a YMCA or North Memorial Clinic. We can use space differently in Minneapolis. We're good at that. That's what I wondered about. I mean, we have like a midtown global market. Right. You think a concept like that or like an Italy, which we've seen growing sure. in, uh, from New York to Chicago, all yeah. over the world. Uh, those would feel like a more natural fit with the way the downtown shopper and resident is living. We've got, you know, 30, 40,000 people living downtown. We're looking at doubling that number in the next mm -hmm. 10 years. We've had 30 or 40 companies move into downtown. We've got a couple hundred thousand people that are in downtown Minneapolis mm -hmm. every day. They have retail needs. We can meet those. I think when we're looking at, you know, the potential of Macy's closing, it's about more than just retail space and, yeah. you know, the economy and whatnot. I think there's so many people who have so many mm -hmm. uh, memories attached to things sure. like Santa Land, like the flower show that they do there every year. Yeah, when I was a little kid, you'd dress up and go with Grandma to see the flower show. When was the last time you dressed up to go downtown for yeah. shopping? Is downtown a failure, though, if you oh. don't have any kind of thing drawing people in any destination? No, I don't think so at all. Again, look at all the companies that have come down mm -hmm. here. And the YMCA is already downtown and they're looking to get closer to the middle. Yeah. This site is the very center of downtown. Yeah. So if you want high skyway traffic, you want high energy, good public transportation, it's a great block. Okay. Good stuff. Jim, thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. My pleasure.